and lift off with the ignition of the SOBs. Attention pour le décollage. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage Vulcan. Allumage confirmé. Top, allumage EAP, décollage. Tout les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Well, we lost her to the low clouds early, but in a blaze of light, there she is coming back out of the clouds, roaring off the path. The DDO says everything is normal, propulsion and trajectory. In a blaze of light and a trail of gold as Arian 5 reaches into the skies above French Guiana on her way to deliver ATV-3, which will make her way to the International Space Station next week. Ah, okay, we've lost her through the clouds. So, the launch vehicle first clears the pad in a vertical rise. And the you can start hearing the noise. Vol, vol and the launch vehicle has just passed Mach 1. It's past the speed of sound. Six kilometers in altitude, 317 meters per second. 773 tons at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. 2.5 tons in each booster. Those are the big flames on either side. And the EPC, the core stage, in the center is burning another 300 kilos per nominal. second. Ariane following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separation, which we will soon see, because the boosters and the first stage are burning down. The boosters will burn another maybe uh, 20 seconds and then get the order from the onboard computer. In, to all, in all, they will burn for around two minutes, and they will deliver 90% of the thrust at liftoff. Boosters burning their 240 tons in just over two minutes. You can see the three points of light there, the two on either side, if they come back. It looks like we lost to the clouds again. Two on either side are the boosters. Luca, on the left, on the upper left of the screen, there's a cursor, and on the bottom left, A and V. That's right, saying? A, the altitude, we are at 63 kilometers already, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and we are at 67 kilometers from Earth. Separation des OAP, and the DDO just called out the successful extinction and separation of the boosters. You see what that looks like? There's one on the other side out of camera range, dropped right on time and on target. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes, and this is what the onboard yep. computer senses, a drop in acceleration, and then it separates them.